Okay guys, today we have the HyperTough 20 volt impact wrench. It is rated at 1,375 inch pounds. Its nominal load is 18 volts. And its price is $39.99. And that includes a 1.5 amp hour lithium battery. Once again, this is made by HyperTough and is available at Walmart. Okay, so today we're going to go ahead and talk about the materials and whether or not I think this tool is good. Okay, so first let's get into the battery and we'll talk about the materials. Okay, so getting into the battery housing now. Okay, so underneath here we have no printing, so we're not sure what kind of plastic this is. We have a little spring here. It looks like glass fiber reinforced, but I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and take a peek here. Okay, and I hear the glass cracking, so this is definitely glass fiber reinforced. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the cells. Okay, so here's the board. Um, looks like it has a controller here, microcontroller. Um, I don't see any MOSFETs. Um, don't see any heat sink. So definitely a couple key items not on here. Pretty basic. It does look like it has some overcharge. It does look like it has some safety features. So not terrible. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sales. But before we do that, let's check the bottom casing. Once again, no stamp. But once again, clearly there is glass fiber, so this is glass fiber reinforced housing. Okay, back to the battery. Here we are. Um, looks like 18, yep, 18650 cells. These are going to be 1500 milliamp, and these are high star, so no name, Chinesium, but they honestly don't look too bad. Um, they look like actually pretty decent cells, to be honest with you. Uh, you're getting five cells, obviously accumulating to your 20 volt max and 1.5 amp hours. See, 1500 milliamps. Okay, not too bad so far. Not a terrible battery. Definitely not a terrible battery housing. Okay, now to get into the drill. Now the drill feels like ABS, and it feels like it has thermal plastic elastomer as the rubber overmold. But let's go ahead and take a look, seeing how once again I do not see any markings. Okay, so this housing right here, no glass fiber, so this is just going to be ABS plastic, um, and this is in fact TPE. This is a thermal plastic elastomer, and then coming underneath here we have a three pin, and okay, so the battery holder is in fact glass fiber reinforced, okay? Now this right here looks like aluminum, I can't be sure, honestly I am sure they wouldn't spend the extra money on zinc here, so this is going to be an aluminum housing here. Okay, let's take a peek inside. Okay, getting in there, getting in there. Once again, these screws feel cheap. Uh, they don't feel like they're going into any metal. It seems like they are just screwed directly into the plastic housing. So, I mean, you know, you get what you pay for, but honestly, it still seems pretty reasonable. I mean, you have the metal housing, that's important, and the battery itself has the uh, fiberglass reinforcement, or glass fiber reinforcement. So, that's pretty decent, I must say. For the price, $39.99 with battery and charger, I mean, that's incredible. I mean, it really is. You're not going to beat that price. No one's going to come close to that price. I mean, it, it's not comparable to anything else in the market because nothing else in the market is listed at this price and actually being a lithium-powered impact that can put out 1,375 inch-pounds of torque. And let me tell you guys, not only will it put out the 1,375 inch-pounds of torque, but it will put out more than 25 or than 30 than 1,375 inch-pounds of torque. I went outside, put 115 foot-pounds down to the tire. 
it broke that 115 foot pounds no problem and then i went ahead and took it up to 120 foot pounds in which it broke that no problem so it's actually underrated guys this thing's rated at 1375 i was getting it to break 125 foot pounds okay so definitely underrated this drill is very powerful and you will not find a drill this powerful anywhere near this size now once again i'm sorry that i'm just screwing this by hand but bear with me we'll get in there so far though i must say it's a pretty skookum drill i've had this drill for hmm, i believe three months i've put it through some pretty good use mostly automotive work uh, once again not professionally just just at home simple oil changes valve cover gasket just basic jobs uh, but it has in fact done everything it took off all valve covered gaskets all 10 mils took them off no problem uh, honestly it, it broke the lug nuts off no problem but once again i torqued mine to spec at 95 foot pounds so that's why it broke the lugs it may not break your lugs because most mechanics just throw it on an impact wrench and tighten your tires down okay now that we have the screws out let's get in the housing once again here okay so here's the clamshell back side of the clamshell once again no no markings here but once again we've already realized that this is just abs plastic and uh looks like the uh tpe is definitely pegged in there nice a lot of places to hold it honestly not a bad housing i mean the fact that it's abs makes it a bad housing but besides that factor it's pretty rigid it's definitely staked in good okay now for the actual drill okay so here we go into the board looks like we have a 24 volt trigger uh 15 amp max output uh, and this is made by a company called jin yuan so once again no name chinesium but 24 volt 15 amp not too bad here we are looks like uh going back down into here we have we have two large mosfets down here on the bottom uh we have one large diode uh, okay uh one large transistor here uh, doesn't look like we have any control oh no right back here we have a microcontroller in the back there uh looks like an eight pin microcontroller once again two mosfets we have one small led here uh, once again we have good we have good wiring here nothing too bad here nothing too bad coming up in the trigger the trigger feels nice pretty rigid for the price tag i mean you can't beat it once again coming into the motor here this is obviously where they did save the money um, this is just your standard hobby motor um, just a standard 18 volt hobby motor so nothing special there but at the same time you know it's it's not too bad for what you're paying so here we go let's get into the meter all right so here's the actual anvil itself uh, it is not a one-handed you do have to lift the collet to put it in and you do have to lift the collet to put it out but i myself don't mind looking in here we have a hardened steel anvil nice hardened steel definitely not gonna mess that up pretty decent you know you have the aluminum housing here pretty decent feels very rigid nice little plastic or rubber over mold here not too bad okay now let's go here let's check out the actual hammering mechanism this hammering mechanism is once again hardened steel so once again very nice nice good metal nice thick spring uh, here's the gears here here's our planetary gears going in and uh, here's our gear housing and then of course our sun gear to the planetary gear is going to be on the other end of the motor here and of course here we have a regular just a regular little skateboard bearing I believe let's go ahead and pop that out and take a look okay so on the bearing size here we have a 89012 once again no name or no this is a 69012 once again no name uh it's just a shielded double shield of both sides uh, looks like here we have a uh, bearing housing here it looks like uh thermal you no know, it looks like uh pa6 glass fiber go ahead and take a look yep i hear the glass fiber so that's going to be pa6 here 
going into a hardened sun gear. This is the sun gear right there, nice and hardened. Not bad, definitely not bad. So once again here, I don't like the way I don't like the way the motor staked in there. I think they could have done a better job, but nonetheless, it seems reasonably skookum. So once again, guys, $39.99. I mean, need I say more? Are you really gonna find a cordless impact that's gonna put out over 100 foot-pounds for $39.99 with battery and charger? And by the way, this comes with a two-year warranty, and you can also pick up the Allstate additional warranty for $3, and that will even cover if you purposely drop it or if you throw it in water or anything like that. So two years worth of coverage for free and two years worth of actual insurance for $3. Once again, guys, this is a no-brainer. $40, bucks, 43 bucks with warranty and insurance. I mean, you're guaranteed to have this drill for two years putting out over 100 foot-pounds of torque. Okay, so... Have a good day, guys, and if you're looking for a cheap impact driver, look no further. Head to Walmart, hyper tough, impact driver, get to it. Have a good one, guys. See you next time. Like and subscribe.